Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Ryan, and this is The Long Dark. And we are back today with our interloper playthrough. As you can see, we're here inside the hydroelectric dam. This is our base. We've got a bunch of guts and deer hides and stuff. A few things are cured. I'm just going to leave them there for now. Oh, and that reminds me, I've been getting some great comments and stuff from you guys with tips and different advice. So I really appreciate that. Coming from somebody who hasn't played The Long Dark in many years, I appreciate all the updates and the tips and the recommendations the advice it's been very helpful so thank you very much for that guys but um as you can see we got lucky last episode and we got a deer kill here a wolf did our killing for us i've got some freshly cooked venison let's see do i have any food on me no no food we got a little bit of water here but um how's our condition hypothermia risk you can see we've completely gotten rid of that cabin fever that i had it was getting pretty high but we went out and we spent a day on the lake um it was like a night on the lake and we just did some fishing out there in one of the cabins i stockpiled with a bunch of wood and we didn't catch a whole lot of fish or anything but ultimately it was still worth doing because it got rid of that uh, cabin fever plus i love it for some reason fishing in this game like the idea of just setting up a whole bunch of wood and starting a fire in a little fishing hut and having our camping and sleeping bag over there i don't know there's something about that appeals to me but you know what else appeals to me guys is killing another deer so we're going to be doing that for sure i think i'm going to go inside and we need to warm up a little bit so i might take a little nap here or rest or something then again yeah we probably do need to it's still early in the day and my energy is about halfway i was thinking i could do some crafting or something instead of wasting time sleeping but like i said our energy is pretty low so let's slap down the sleeping bag i probably need to repair this thing soon you can see it's getting a little bit dicey there but that's okay i'm just gonna sleep for an hour warm us up a little bit and then maybe i will like pop together something in the crafting table just so that we warm up even more let's just see what we got pick this up i don't want to spend too much time in here while the weather's nice out there like that because you know who knows a storm could pick up in any second and i'm sorry it's very dark right now guys but let's see what I'd kind of like to do is maybe get started on like the rabbit skin hat or mittens. Hold on. Let me check something. Oh no. You know what I need to do? I need those deer skin leggings. 100%. Yeah. Cause I've only got one pair of pants on. So I need three cured deer hides and four guts. Pretty sure I have that. So let's check our cabinet. One, two, three, four. There we go. All right. I got a ton of rabbit pelts too. Four cured guts. I got three there. I think there was one out here I saw. So let's grab this one. Cool. All right. And we'll pop over here. I'm not going to do, I'm not trying to do the whole set or get it all done in one go. I just want to warm up a little bit, get it started. And I'll probably just stick it in a drawer and we'll continue to work on it over time, you know? All right, so that's good. Let's see here. So not usually, yeah, it's not quite finished, but there we go. So now I'll put it all in this cabinet by itself. And whenever we want to, we can just pop back in there and work on that a little bit. Let me drop off a few more things that I really don't need to be carrying around like that. Put these hooks in here. I'll keep the, the lure and the line on me. I mean, they weigh almost next to nothing. So it's like, why not? But yeah, okay, that's pretty good. So another thing is with that fishing, you can also get lamp oil too, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I didn't get very much. I think in that whole, like we spent like 11 hours almost at that fishing hut. I only caught like two fish, I think, two or maybe three, but it wasn't very much, sadly. Now the question is, do you think I should, like actually process this stuff honestly i think i'm just gonna leave it and we're gonna go try and kill another deer and put i mean i can just process that later it's not a big deal so let's get out here now the question is where do we want to go hunting right now it's like it's coming down pretty hard we might get a yeah i'm listening to the wind now wind's picking up we might end up getting uh getting a pretty bad storm here I don't know. It's risky, guys. It's risky. I just don't feel like sitting around the fire again all day today and cooking up meat. We've been doing that for like the last three episodes. So I want to do something fun and exciting, like a little hunt. You know, honestly, I, I need to be killing some wolves, to be quite honest with you. And I just need their skins. 
so we can make that wolf skin coat. That would be really cool. Help us deter some attacks and stuff. Because if we're going to go to some of these more dangerous regions like Mountain Town and stuff like that, yeah, any little bit of extra help we can get will be great. So let's just see what we can do. My health isn't very good. You know what? I tell you what, instead of actually doing a hunt, here's what we're going to do. We're going to explore the rest of the Mystery Lake region. Maybe not the totality of it because there's a couple little points of interest that are, you know, are out there in the woods that I'm not probably going to go to, but this log sword, I think there's a couple of trailers down in this direction, which I've still never gone to. So maybe that's worth checking out. It's not too far from home and I'll be able to stop in there and warm up and stuff. So let's go over here. I might have to check with an external map though. I almost never come through this area, so I'm not sure. Like I say, it's been so long since I've played in like a for like a long period of time this series is i don't know last this this is season four season three was i don't know last year maybe but anyway let's stay focused here yeah i'm glad we didn't go all the way out because this wind is getting pretty bad now let me see is there a trailer i swear to god there's something around here Let's just keep looking. Also, I should be looking for any saplings or anything, too. <gasps> oh, baby. I'm coming for you. All right, this is good. This is good. Somebody mentioned, too, in the, one of the comments, because I had uh, noticed that when I was quartering my last deer kill, that there was no penalty for, like, the temperature. I didn't lose any health to temperature or anything like that. And they said that's a bug. That right now, when you quarter an animal like that, you're not going to experience any any degradation in life and stuff. Ah, got him. I kind of moved there at the last second, but we still nailed it, baby. Oh, look at that, right through the neck. Damn. So in other words, I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to quarter this boy up. Now, another commenter said that the hacksaw is the best on frozen meat. Well, this baby ain't frozen, so I'm going to go ahead and use my knife because... I don't want to mess with my hacksaw, but yeah, right now, look at my health. See, it's not going down at all, whereas it definitely should be going down right now because I'm in the deficit on temperature and stuff like that. So interesting, huh? Now, are there any wolves around here? I don't want to get attacked with my health at this low level, but I'm going to pick all this stuff up. Let's see, can I, sh oof, oh my God, I'm at 90 pounds. There's no... I'm just watching because I know every wolf in the freaking place is going to be on top of me right now. So let me grab this. Can we get back to the dam going through like the shortcut? I don't know. I'm going to just hoof it around back the way we came. And if I do encounter a wolf, I'll probably just drop a decoy for it. That way I don't have to mess around and try and kill it or anything like that. Like I said, I do want to kill some, but not when I'm sitting here at half health. Okay, we are almost home free, and I didn't see a single wolf, so we got real lucky again, guys. Super lucky. Man, oh man, well, I was just saying how I didn't want to spend another, like, day sitting around the campfire, but we're going to kind of have to now. I've got so much meat on me, I can't, I can't imagine doing anything else at this point except just harvesting this meat at least you know what i'll probably do now that we've got two kills sitting here i'm gonna harvest this one we'll process the one we've got already sitting here because it's obviously it's it's a bit lower on its quality and the new stuff the fresh stuff i'll leave until we get another kill or until i get real desperate so this is at 90 percent grab this one these are frozen too so i'm might be better off giving it a little bit of time, keeping it on me. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but let's get inside here where it's nice and warm. And we'll drop off that deer skin, of course, and the guts. Man, oh man. We got plenty of deer and gut skin, I'll tell you what. I don't have a single wolf skin, though. All right, or a bear skin. And let's see. I do want to get that bear killed, though. The one over there on Mystery Lake, I feel like that's an easy kill, you know. All right, so that's that. Now, let me see here. Pretty tired. It is getting later. Yeah, let's go ahead and start processing some of this meat, right? Oh, this is only an 89%. How long does it take since it is frozen? Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah, I can manage that. 
All right, so I've got a bunch of meat over here. These are the little pieces that aren't that high quality and here's the good stuff so we got a bunch of good meat here now it's pretty late in the day obviously the sun's not out so i think i'm going to wait till the morning to try and see if i can't use the maglins to start a fire but i'm going to grab one of these and i think what i'm going to do there's two things i'd like to do with a little bit of daylight we've got left number one i would like to work on the those deerskin pants i feel like having some extra cold protection is probably very smart especially considering the absolute poor quality of my clothing. Like I said, I've only got one pair of pants. I don't even have a freaking second outer layer. This is killing me right here. I, I mean, I need to go exploring and find something for this. But, uh, and again, that's another reason I was thinking about the wolf coat, but that would take a while. It would probably be quicker just to go to Mountain Town or Broken Railroad and hope for something there. But honestly, I don't know how great the clothing selection is in, uh, Mm, well, I was going to say Broken Railroad, but anyway, let's not worry about that now. The second thing I would kind of like to do is go around the dam, maybe the lower portion, and get some cloth. We're getting pretty low on cloth, and as I mentioned, for one thing, I definitely need to get my... Yeah, this thing's at 68%. This could use a little bit of repair work. Not to mention, some of my clothing is still kind of low. I guess eh, it's not bad. This thing definitely needs a little bit of work on it. But yeah, cloth is starting to become a little bit harder to find. Now, another thing I guess I could do is we can get cloth from these. Plus, I've, you know, I've been contemplating a second forge run. I talked about maybe even like we, if we go to Broken Railroad to explore and loot that area, maybe I'd do a little forging there, you know, just make an extra knife and an extra axe. So tell you what, we'll go ahead and break this down. <laughs> That was loud. <laughs> Killed two birds with one stone there. So we get a little metal and we get some extra cloth. Very good. Now, was that enough cloth to actually repair this boy here? Let's try this. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Use the last little bit of daylight there. All right, beautiful. So it's going to be, oh, it's still pretty light in here. But I was going to say I'm going to drop off this metal. I'm keeping all my metal right now in here. At some point, I'll start moving it outside. Oh, it's too full. All right, well, screw it then. Um, you know what? No, okay, I'm going to leave some metal. Why can't I put any in here? What? There's plenty of weight room. What the hell? Hold on. Uh, okay, I'm totally confused now. Oh, I guess even one of them is too much, isn't it? Yeah, looking at that. Okay, whatever. I'll just put it over here in one of these filing cabinets. Who cares, right? Okay, we are in our trailer here. It's pitch black just about. Sorry about that. But the only reason I'm bringing you guys back right now is because someone did leave the comment that I should be sleeping for 10 hour stretches at a time as opposed to just doing eight hours. So apparently that's the ideal amount of time to get like maximum recovery and stuff. So I'm definitely going to do that right now and hopefully as much as i can in the future going forward because at this point i do need some pretty decent health recovery but thank you again for those comments and tips really really helpful all right so let's see oh yep and it brings me right to the edge of dehydration but we got plenty of water so i'm not worried about it there we go in fact i think i've stuffed some water here don't i put some in here yeah there's a little bit in here tell you what i'm gonna put the rest of it in there i like to start to stockpile ingredients and stuff well not ingredients just resources in general but ooh, what's that food 81 percent. that's not bad that's not bad let's go ahead and eat that i'm not really going for a well-fed bonus but to be honest we've got enough deer meat i probably easily could let's see what time is it oh okay let's check outside can i oh hold on hold on i want to put away something here real quick get that out of my pocket okay let's see hopefully the sun is out and it's a clear day we can nope it's not at all okay so um hmm. if i had a light source i would definitely go down in the dam right now and like i said get some more cloth but honestly it might not be a bad idea to break down some of this wood out here i know this is probably going to kill my temperature but i'm going to do this real quick oh christ oh that was painful that was painful that's all right though that's all right we're like i said we're gonna spend the day here can't, cooking up stuff anyway so i'll probably sleep again at some point not the end of the world 
was not the brightest move, but I just want to be able to avoid that cabin fever too, because that can be not good. Honestly, I don't know what like the ultimate penalty is for cabin fever. What happens if I just completely ignore it? I don't really know. That'd be interesting to find out. Okay, guys. Well, it is midday. I have been spending time working on the pants that I... Yeah, so we're nowhere near done yet. These are still... They've still got several more hours to go. But I've been kind of just working on those, waiting for the sun to come out, hoping that it would come out. But it looks like the snow is coming down now. So I think we're about to get a storm again. And I'm out of cooked food. So I'm going to have to go ahead and use a match. I think at this point, it's probably just best to get this stuff lit and start cooking it. Again, like as I wanted to use the mag lens, but at this point, man, is that all the wood I've got? Damn, I need to cut I need to cut some more for sure, but um yeah, let's break out a torch. I've got tons of matches at this point, so it's not the end of the world, and there's still several regions in the game I need to explore yet to go, so I'm not even worried about that. Um, I mean, I am, but <laughs> I'm trying to put on a brave face. Okay, here we go. So we'll get this started. Let's go. Okay, guys. Well, I got all three of the fires going. And you know what? Since I had to use a match for this. Oh, do I not? Do I... Okay, yeah, we got the water. Yeah, since I had to use a match, I decided to go ahead and just cook up all the deer. You know, sitting around waiting for another kill before I harvest that other one didn't seem like it made a lot of sense, especially since I had to use a match here. So we should be good to go now. I've got everything harvested and cooked. This was the last little bit of meat right there. So you can see what we got. Of course, several of these on the bottom here are just the smaller pieces, but hey, it's still better than nothing, right? So with this, all this meat here, and of course you saw me, I got a whole bunch of water. Oh no, I do have two more raw pieces. Whoopsie. I guess that was the last of the little batch. That's okay. We'll just drop those. Ran out of fire. That's okay. I, I thought I timed it perfectly. And I did for what was cooking. But anyway, so we'll leave those. They, they can just chill there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of this meat here. Because I am determined to get these deer skin pants done. Before we actually do head out and do some traveling and stuff. Or even any more hunting. Basically anything else. I want to I wanna get some pants. So let's just see how much longer we've got on these deer skins here. I want to say it's about 8 hours left. So... I might have to devote just a full day to crafting, but that's not the end of the world. Yeah, eight and a half hours there. So I'm just going to take the time and get this done. I mean, we've got the meat for it now, so it's not the end of the world. And this is going to help tremendously, I think, uh, allowing us to travel without having to stop as often and stuff like that. So I feel like that's worth the uh, time and effort. All right, folks, we have done it. The deer pants are complete, and I can finally put them on. Look at that beautiful, warm, supple, and tough. Offers a great combination of mobility and warmth. Wear these to feel like the Mad Max of the North. You better believe it. Okay, that is pretty good. You know what I'm noticing, too? For some reason, I didn't realize I don't have a toque, so we might be better off making some rabbit like a rabbit hat too i wonder how long that would take me i mean while i've got all the food in the world now's the time to do it right let's see drop these off grab that gut there what is it three i'll just take those let's see what we can do here with this rabbit hat three and a half hours you know what we're just going to do what all in one go let's do it i won't lose my well fed here we got plenty of food i might go a little bit into deficit on dehydration but no, we're fine. Yeah, so we got ourselves a rabbit skin. Oh, and we got our well-fed bonus, too, while we were working. Very cool. Oh, I can hear the wind outside. Oh, yeah, storm's picking up, guys. So that's that's pretty cool, though. Let's check our clothing here. So uh, there it is, 100%. Oh, man. All right, let's put that on. And I guess, do I put it on here? Does it matter which? Oh, it's got to be on the outer layer. Okay. There we go. Wear it, baby. <laughs> Look at our little guy. Okay, so I'm going to keep that other scarf. I'll put that in our trailer just to hold on to it. Okay, I've got an extra gut on me, so let me drop that off so I'm not just carrying around random crap I don't need. Very good. Very good. Look at all the torches I've got. Guys, I think we are ready to head to Broken Railroad. You know? I mean, what else am I waiting around for at this point? I've got food. I've got the the, this, the clothing made and stuff. Let's see now. I probably will want to do it in the morning. Yeah, I'm not going to head out right now. 
Let me grab that. Put all the stuff away in my little area. Yeah, so I'm going to get everything organized here. Come here. Let's see. Um, Water-wise, I've got six half gallons. Let's grab a little bit more. Transfer. I'm just, I'm now I'm thinking about, we'll grab one cup of herbal tea for the road too. Um, I don't have any birch bark made up. I've been drinking the heck out of it. So that's okay though. That's okay. We don't need birch bark tea. It would help to have it, but I think we're ready. I mean, in terms of, you know, my gear and stuff, there's not much else I can do, right? I don't want to carry too much meat with me or every wolf in the whole map will be coming after me, but we're going to have to carry a little bit of that meat, I think. All right, so let me get things sorted. Like I said, I'm going to go to bed here. Um, this is going to be a long night, though, just because I've got uh, my sleep schedule's a little off after doing all that crafting and stuff. I don't know. Anyway, that's no big deal. Maybe we'll get lucky and have an Aurora tonight, and I'll be able to read a book or something. We'll see how that goes. Okay, everybody, check it out. It is beautiful out here. It's about midday. Uh, I spent most of the morning just killing time because there was a really big storm and stuff. I'm a little bit tired, but I think that's okay. Now, what I want to do is, like I said, we're going to head out. Oh, I need to grab a stick here. Um, yeah, we're going to head out and start making our way towards the Broken Railroad. So it's time to explore a brand new region, guys. Of course, we got to make our way through the Mystery Lake, all the way down past and through the Forlorn Muskeg. But it's really not that long of a, raw, uh, of a walk, to be honest. I just, I'm a little nervous about the wolves, but, oh, crap, failed to start the fire. But if we can get this Maglins going, we should be good here because I'll have some torches with me. Of course, I'm going to have to take some of this meat because I can't count on having, like, tons of food at Broken Railroad. There'll probably be a little bit there. That house, like the cabin at the very far back of the Broken Railroad, does usually have a little bit of food in it. But, um, yeah, you can't rely on it. So well, I want to be able to maintain this well-fed bonus there and back. But, of course, you never know. It's more important for us to just stay alive. Oops. Um, so, actually, what I, the only reason I wanted to start that fire was to light one of my 17 freaking torches. So, there we go. We are lit. Um, all right, I'm going to grab two pieces. I've got two pieces of good-sized meat on me. We got plenty of water. Our weight is pretty low. I'm, I'm pretty much just exactly what I need to survive at this point. Now, temperature-wise, damn. Damn, it's already down to half, isn't it? But that's okay. I have a feeling it's going to start warming up as we go. Of course, I think it gets like to peak warmth on a day like this when it's not blizzardy in about an hour or so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's that? All right, come here, you. I got an idea. I actually do want to kill this dude. Ah, uh, I, you know, I do want to kill him. Damn it. I do. And I don't now. Cause like I said, I wanted to get on the way, but, uh, crap, 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 crap. I would love to take him out and skin him. I don't know. Damn. Should I just let him pass? I think I'm just going to let him pass. I might, I might kill a little time, just a small amount of time here inside the dam to warm up a little bit. Don't want to let this torch go out, but yeah, that stupid wolf. All right, and we are off. Oh, great, the wind picks up as soon as I try and start walking. What the hell? Um, the wolf is gone, so I don't have to worry about that. But, of course, there's definitely going to be some more wolves between us and them. And since I am carrying meat, most likely we'll have to encounter them and try and scare them away. So let's do our very best to get through this. God, oh, I'm already down to zero temperature. What is going on with the wind? I hate walking against the wind. It is so frustrating moving at a snail's pace, especially when you've got like very low gear. It's like, I'm, I'm not carrying anything. I shouldn't be walking that slow, but oh well, it's not even that windy. Otherwise my torch would be out, but let's just see what we got. Any wolves? Okay. So far the coast is clear. Oh, swear to God, dude, if this torch gets blown out by the wind, it's not, we're not going to be screwed because I do have one flare on me, but damn it, I really don't want to use it because then we would be screwed at that. I probably should have brought two flares, but oh well, I'm not turning around now. Is that a wolf ahead? I think that's just a rock. So, all right, let's keep pushing on to forlorn muskeg. Okay, we got a wolf. Boom, right there. I'm going to try and skirt around him, 
so when I scare him off, he won't run ahead of me, and I have to keep confronting him. Alright, go this way. Yeah, I'm not even bothering with the weapons. I know it's a more effective way. I'm just not that skilled at it. I don't have a lot of practice at that. But I'm going to be showing you guys every single wolf encounter. Because, I don't know, each one could be the last. But hopefully that won't be the case. Nonetheless, like I said, we are pushing on. Oh my goodness. Well, it's not a wolf, but there is a deer right out here in front of the cabin. Oh, do I do I derail our plans just to hunt another deer? I don't think so. But I did decide we're going to stop off here and build a quick little fire. Hopefully trying to warm up. I don't like the idea of walking all the way there with my health being drained away from cold. There's no reason for that. So I'm going to pop in here. Like I said, just pick up a couple of these sticks that are over here and get warmed up real quick. Okay, well, we have made it to the exit into Forlorn Muskeg. As you can see, my temperature fell again, but um, I think I'll probably stop off at that little broken railroad area. Oh, look, I missed some rose hips here. I think I intentionally left them because I was probably freezing when we came through here. Grab these real quick. Yeah, I'm going to try and stop off, build a little fire. That is, if my torch doesn't get blown out. Let's just see what it's like over here in Forlorn. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be nice and calm and warm over here, but I, I seriously doubt it. Oh, uh, well, there is some snowflakes coming down, and my temperature's still in deficit mode, but hey, it's not the end of the world, right? It's not a blizzard, so. Now, I do have one piece of meat on me still. I'm almost tempted to just go ahead and eat it. I think I will once we get to the railroad tracks, though. But there's potentially a wolf dead ahead. I think there's also potentially a bear traveling through. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, in the comments, but the bears aren't triggered on scent, right? They won't come after me, will they? I don't think so. But anyway, I'm not too worried about bears, honestly. They're not that threatening, as long as you don't get mauled by one. But, um, all right, we're just about halfway there, so let's push on to the little railroad car and start a quick fire. Okay, well, I decided to sleep here, and that might have been a mistake. I want, Oh, there goes the torch. I was going to say, uh, this wind sounds like it's picked up. We might lose our torch, but... Oh, holy crap, is that a wolf dead ahead? No, I think it's just a stone. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I think we're safe. Um, that is really unfortunate, though. I mean, I've got matches, so it's not the end of the world. We get to Broken Railroad. I'll probably have to strike up another torch just because there are a lot of wolves in Broken area. I mean, a few key places. Man, I'm also noticing there's still so many cattails in this region. Obviously, this forlorn might be one of the regions that has the most. I'm not even sure. It just seems like that to me. But yeah, I'm going to have to make a special trip to come through here just to get a bunch of cattails. I mean, it's good to have backup. Obviously, you can see that I'm not the worst hunter in the world, and I'm having some decent luck up to this point, but you never know. That can change, you know. We could hunt out Mystery Lake, and I, I could get on like a dry streak or something, so it's not a bad idea coming through here and just picking a bunch of these, but man, oh man, I was hoping to keep my health up a little bit better than this, but it's not the end of the world. We're, I think we're going to get into the Broken Railroad and be just fine, so... We're almost there. Just keep pushing on a little bit farther. Oh, boy. Well, I tell you what, that last stretch of uh, railroad track from the middle of the region down here to the end is a long walk. At least it felt that way. Walking against the wind with my temperature steadily draining. So, But we have almost made it. I'm going to try and sprint the last few bit. Okay, so I'm done sprinting. My energy is pretty low. If it gets too much lower, we're going to start to... Uh, we're probably already going into deficit in terms of our weight carrying weight, so i got to watch that. But, okay, we are still not out of the woods yet, so to speak. We've got to run the gauntlet and get past, like, three or four wolves potentially here up in Broken Railroad. But um, what I'm going to do, I know there's a couple looting opportunities on the way, but I'm probably going to wait and get those on the way back. Certainly, I'm not going to be picking cattails or anything. we got to get inside and get warmed up. Um but let's see here i was hoping that would save the game but no didn't save it so we're just going to push on we are officially in broken railroad but man oh man i'm super nervous right now so i'm going to grab as many sticks as i can get too because we're going to need to start a little fire or something at some point 
But yeah, there's still still a good little walk till we get to shelter here. Luckily, I do know this region fairly well. So I, I mean, we're obviously going into a pretty bad storm here. But um, man, oh man. All right, let's go. At least I brought that cup of tea with me, right? Oh my God, guys. Let me tell you something. That was not a pleasant walk. But whoops, I did make it almost all the way. As you can see, if you're looking at my stats and stuff it's, it's we're cutting it pretty close my energy level is very low I'm trying to pick up as much of this as i can but we're almost there just through this little break and i'm hoping with this really intense storm the wolves will be hidden they won't be out and about so we might get lucky it might actually benefit us a little bit the fact that it's super super nasty out here but here we go. It should be just dead ahead. Let's keep pushing on. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous about this. I have no food left, so we might end up losing that well-fed bonus at some point. Like I said, if there's not enough food here, it might screw me. But uh, like I said, a couple of looting opportunities, but we'll get those on the way back. Right now, we just need to get indoors because I'm pushing it. But yeah, luckily, there's no wolves here. Normally, there I don't want to say there's always a wolf pro patrol patrolling out in front here, but it seems like there always is. I might be wrong about that. Obviously not in the middle of a storm like this. So we should be good. I see the power cable. We're following it. There should be a little, like, um, where is it? God, I always start to second guess myself in situations like this. Oh, there it is. Okay. Whew, man. I'm like, wait, I should see it by now. Why don't I see it? All right, let's just pop in here real quick. What do we got? What do we got? Give me the note okay give us a little hint about i guess i don't know what that was honestly i think they added something in um the lower difficulties the memento key and memento boxes i don't know if those are present in interloper though so it might be a waste but let me know down in the comments if that's something i should be worried about or looking for but oh my god guys we did it finally getting indoors here oh look at this place it is gorgeous i mean it's hideous it's decrepit it's downtrodden but i love it i am so glad to finally be in some shelter look at my health bar oh I'm down to the final third of it but wow guys we've got a lot of looting and searching to do ahead of us and hopefully some serious recovery too so i appreciate everybody tuning in for this episode it's been a long one but a very eventful one and hopefully successful so hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel guys and make sure to tune in for tomorrow's and i will see you all on the next one.